Would you consider an internally clamping work holding a Mando from Heimberg on a vertical machining center? Well, Neil here does, and he makes thousands of parts on it every year. Neil, you've got quite an interesting story here. This is kind of a sign of true engineering. Yeah, we have been making hubs for years for mountain bikes, but one of our customers came to us and they wanted a very complicated monoblock hub making for a wheelchair wheel. And it's got carbon fiber leaf springs, which are epoxy bonded, hence the rough surface of the inside. And it's, you would think it's a lathe part, but actually it's pretty much a, a, a milled part. So we invested in a, a brother Speedio MX140 for a mill turn solution. And it's more focused on a mill than a turn. Yeah. It can do all the things for turning. And we fitted it with a Heimbuck mandrel. Previously, we were using a three jaw chuck. Yeah. And it wasn't very rigid. It was occasionally firing the part out. The surface finish wasn't great, but the hydraulically actuated draw bar inside the machine fully automates loading and unloading the parts. So we can fit a robot in the future. Yeah. Um, but the benefits are because it's clamping internally using the mandrel yeah. it, and it pulls down as well. It's always accurate on length. It's always flat. It's always concentric. And it's so rigid, you get much, much better surface finishes, unbelievably better surface finishes. And this component previously, you can see the journey of the component here, but previously it was multiple components, wasn't yeah. it? Our customer was previously making out 14 different parts, had a lot of warranty problems, a lot of failures. And actually there was so much handling, it cost a lot of money because each part was put in and taken out. It's a lot of risk there. Oh yes. Um, and a lot of assembly time and a lot of parts to anodize and it all adds up to a bill of materials, yeah. which is very expensive. But by, you'd have thought a complex long cycle time monoblock part is an expensive way of doing it. But it was a massive down cost for the customer and it meant that all the tolerances were held in one place. There was no assembly. There was fewer parts to anodize. So actually it cost a fraction of the cost to anodize and all the tolerances are better. Mm. And from my point of view, I yeah. could down cost it because it's got a long cycle time with a lot of walk away time. So you load the parts, press go, leave it. All automatic. And it just runs. And the beauty about this machine is that it's got an automatic door, a hydraulic draw bar. So you just take the part out, blow it clean, pop it back. You don't need to have a spanner. You don't need to have anything. No. And when you press go, the door shuts, it clamps, it pulls down and it runs. So I'm already loading the next machine by the time this has started running. So my tack time is literally 10 seconds to change. 